This is Steve with Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Tusk Sub-Zero UTV Snowplow Mount on a Honda Pioneer 500. When the snow starts flying, you'll want to be prepared. Here at Rocky Mountain ATV MC, we have a lot of snowplow options for your UTV and ATV. So today I'm going to show you how to install our Tusk Sub-Zero UTV snowplow mount on this 2018 Honda Pioneer 500. Now these procedures that I'm going to show you will work on all Honda Pioneer 500s, years ranging from 2015 to 2019. To do this job you'll need your Sub-Zero plow mount, which comes with instructions and all the hardware needed to install it on your machine. You will also need some basic hand tools, rags, gloves, and safety glasses, and a copy of your OEM service manual for more information, proper procedures, and specs. First, if you're going to elevate your machine, make sure that you do it in a safe manner so that you don't damage the machine or get injured yourself. First, we need to remove the two lower bolts that hold the bumper on. Now, if you have any aftermarket accessories, you may or may not need to remove them as this mount was designed for a stock application. Next, we need to remove the front two bolts that hold the skid plate to your machine. Now that we've got those removed, the reason that we needed to remove them is so that we can drill out another hole so that once we take our bracket and, pick up and put it over the frame and reinstall our skid plate, we have a hole that we can mount the mount to. So how to do that is you'll take a measuring tape and measure from the center of your, your mounting plate skid hole and measure back an inch and a half and then you would drill that out. Now you'll need to use a hole saw, preferably one inch in diameter or, or bigger to drill the hole out. Now we've already drilled this out so that we could speed the process up for you viewers. So let's go ahead and get this reinstalled and we'll mount our plow mount. Now let's install our other bracket on the other side of the frame. Now let's reinstall our front two skid plate bolts. Now you can see here that the bracket is just resting on the frame. And because we've created these holes, once we take the plow mount and stick it up to the frame, it'll be easy to install the bolt through the plow mount into the bracket. Now let's take the two larger bolts in the kit, and we're going to go ahead and install those in the front two holes of the bumper through the plow mount. Now we just want to leave them loose until we've mounted our other bolts. Now let's take the other four supplied bolts and we'll install those through the plow mount into the bracket. Now remember, leave all your bolts loose until they're all installed, and then we will tighten them up. Now that we've got all of our bolts started, let's push up on the bracket against the frame and then we will tighten the front two first. Now that the front two bolts are tight, let's go ahead and tighten the rear four. Now that we've got those tight, that's how easy it is to install your plow mount. Now remember, the plow mount is designed to only be used with the plow, so you need to make sure to remove it for normal UTV use. Now if you need help with your push, assembling your push tube or your plow, you can check out our video out on that. And that's it. That's all there is to install in the plow mount on your Honda Pioneer. Come check us out at RockyMountainATVMC.com for more parts, apparel, and accessories. And remember, all orders over $75 ship for free. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Steve. We'll catch you next time.